All right, so what is going on today, YouTube? In the deck you are looking at is my deck that I took to YCS San Diego. Now, I did not do too particularly well, but, you know, I, I almost made it to day two. But um, I will tell you guys about that. Now, I was going to be doing, like, just a random duel video. Not really random, but just all Spiral Duel. I mean, not Spirals, but all Vend Vendred Duels. Um, with the Vendred deck is just dueling just you know just give you guys a little chill video to relax and watch um, if you just want to watch some duels and you don't really want to hear no commentary or something like that you just want to see some duels that's what I was going to do I'm probably gonna do that at a later time but um, you probably you know you guys are gonna hear me allude to it on Monday but uh, yeah so I ended up going to YCS San Diego and my record ended up being 4-3 in one tie I know man it's, and it's bad I know what you guys are doing you're looking at the deck so and you're wondering what what the hell is this well um, over the past couple of weeks I've been you know thinking about you know the pretty much all these texts I've been you know like man I'm about to play this this is gonna be good and I think people are gonna be surprised people are gonna be caught off guard is gonna get them and stuff like that so let's just go over the deck so we start off with five kaijus and I know a lot of people are going to look at this and be like, hey, man, you, you're just garbage. You know what? I, I like to do things a little different. And the reason why I play five kaiju is because you, uh, I don't really have that many zombies. And, you know, I kind of want to have a kaiju at all times. At least one kaiju in my opening hand, which I've seen pretty much every game. I've seen a kaiju. So I guess that theory worked. But the problem is, um, oh, I get into that later. But, yeah, five kaijus. I only played these because... Um, I actually was not playing these. I was playing two of this and then the 3300, but my friend let me borrow it. So shout out to Big E about that. And then, uh, yeah, so on to the rest of the part was two Gozukis, um, triple uh, Mizuki, triple Solitary, triple Unizombie, and the one Spectral Sword. We're going to talk about the hand traps a little later. So, you know, I probably should just move this stuff over here. That would make a lot more sense. Um, yeah, so then I played uh, two Gozukis because... Um, like I said, you really want to just get to a zombie and one of your uh, other cards, one of the hand traps, one of the, you know, uh, kaijus or one of the traps. You want to start off with uh, a zombie just to put on the board. And that's what pretty much the second Gozuki. And you know what? I'm, I did not have any problems with the zombie engine. Um, I actually, you know, would prefer this over something because uh, you, you see I do have desires and stuff. You don't want to banish the Gozuki or you don't want to have any... Uh, sometimes you draw the one Gozuki and you have a solitaire and you can't really do the plays, but two Gozukis worked perfectly. Uh, like I said, I did not have any complaints about it. Uh, the whole zombie engine in general it was you know was was pretty good, so I can't even complain. Um, yeah, man, nothing really backfired. Um, but I told you, I'll tell you guys about what happened. I have my you know uh, uh, what's the name uh, round by round stuff like that um, down here. So you know after I get done with the little deck profile, we're gonna talk about that. And then onto the hand traps, I play Maxi, Double Ghost Ogre, and Double Valor. And I know what you guys wonder, why the hell are you playing Valor? Well, I'm not buying Ash Blossoms because they're like 70. I uh, couldn't borrow Ash Blossoms because everybody was playing them. And also, you know, Valor is still pretty decent and it actually worked in the tournament. Um, when I did see it, I really I think I only seen it in one match. Maybe two matches, but I, I've only literally seen it once. So, I mean, I can't really tell you how broken it was but when i did see it, it it won me the game so you know that was pretty good and then ghost ogre um that was just pretty much ghost ogre and maxi is you know maxi so on to the spells which i play a small ber i mean small bit of which is dark hole foolish pot of desire soul charge slumber and double burial um what desires for the first time ever well since i had such a diverse monster lineup it literally banished literally like one unit zombie one kaiju uh, one time I got two I got two Mizukis banished, but like I said, once you get your Omega going, the Mizuki getting banished does not really matter. Um, yeah, so the Pot Desires, you know, did not, you know, a lot, I know a lot of people, uh, I mean, I know a lot of y'all always say, man, take the Desires out. Definitely, uh, Dwayne McFadden always tells me to take the Desires out, but, you know, I, I don't have, I mean, I do have a Lord's, but Lord really does not fit in this deck because you only have, what, uh, five, four, what's it, four Darks, so... 
I mean, they will lower go more in Vendreds. I needed some type of draw power, so I decided with Desires, and this was actually, you know, pretty good. I did not draw bad one time. I didn't banish too many good stuff. Like I said, the worst thing I ever did was banish two Mizukis, and like I said, I already had a Solitaire, so it didn't matter. So it, it really didn't matter. Um, I mean, I don't have to really explain. The rest of the cards, Burial was clutch all day. And onto the traps, I play one Torrential, Double Floodgate, Triple Mistake, Macro, Imperial Order, Solemn, two Solemn Strikes, and a Solemn Warning. Now, Floodgate was the worst decision um, I could have made. This card, while it was good, it was not really, you know, it, it's, it's just it's this is the one card you did not want to have. So yeah, this, this right here, I thought this would actually be pretty decent. Um, in testing is actually it was pretty good but not um not it like not, not when i went to the ycs man that was uh it wasn't it wasn't as good as i thought it was going to be um <clears throat> for some reason link skipped my mind so <laughs> yeah you can't flag a trap hole and link so yeah that's this is why this card is immediately bad is because once they establish a link it's it's pretty much garbage but that sometimes I did floodgate like a, a XYZ, you know, stuck in their zone, stuff like that. I remember I XYZ, I mean, I floodgated a Dante and it stayed there for like a good five turns and he couldn't do anything because it was flipped face down. Uh, and then, yeah, uh, Triple Mistake is probably the best card in the whole deck. Literally, every time I drew it, I won. So, uh, Macro actually did not draw it the whole game. Drew Imperial Order, I believe, once. Uh, no, I drew it twice, only activated it once, and it, you know, I mean, I, I can't really say nothing about that. Uh, and, you know, these do what they do. And onto the extra deck is not really nothing changed. Sun Saga, Shogun Saga, Crystal Wing, Void, Scarlight, Double Omega, Black Rose, Samurai Saga. Went to this because I did not have a 15th card. Um, it would either be this or Tornado Dragon. This actually won me a duel, be putting the Mizuki back, which was just amazing. Um, Zombie Skull, Stardust Charge Warrior. Um, Baguska, I went into this once, Castell, I never went into a decode, and Proxy Dragon. Um, nothing really to talk about with the extra deck, it's just standard uh, zombie. I mean, not really, but my standard uh, extra deck. On to the, uh, extra, the, the side deck, which was very, very, uh, I know what you guys are looking at. And I, I know the first two cards you're looking at, and yes, those cards are sided, and I did use them, and they did work. So, let's just start off with the two uh, main thing Skullmeister. This card is so good. Um, it's really underrated. Um, if if I would only suggest citing this if you know, like if you're playing zombies, uh, I'm just going to talk about the main reason in my like recap. But this card was good, man. You you who use this on a master plan? That's in, that's the end of the turn. That literally what happened. But he had soul charge, so <laughs> nothing we could do about that. But Skullmeister would have won me the game or got me back in the game because he was going, uh, I think he was going first. Um, Skullmeister actually would have got me back in the game if he didn't have Soul Charge or stuff like that. Um, actually, no, no. Soul Charge was game three. Yeah, okay. Well, Skullmeister would have got me back in the game if, you know, I'll, I'll talk about it a little later. Um, as you know, ABC, totally awesome. Helix and a M Duke for the Reaper. Um, I've used, I used Reaper three times today. And the three times that I did use it, um, I actually lost both Spiral games, and I beat ABCs because of it. Um, Book of Eclipse, I seen it once, won me a game. Spell Shining Arrow, I think I seen this once, um, and it, I think it, it helped me win the game. It didn't win me the game outright, but it helped me. This, this, this is so good. These, these five are good. I mean, Book of Eclipse once again because of links. This is kind of iffy but you know you can stop you can predate a link and you know they can't really do anything um and with spell shouting arrow this, this is amazing but i didn't play any pendulums um and then heavy dust storm i never i mean heavy storm dust i've never seen it so anyways let's talk about the um the event in itself um like i said i did go four three and one so uh we're going to talk about that round for round and while i'm talking about it you guys are going to be seeing just some duels with the deck so you guys can see literally you know just uh, uh, get a little ver i mean get a little uh <clears throat> just a little idea of what was going on so anyways <clears throat> so round one i go up against spirals now i win the die roll and i draw a mistake with a solitaire you guys already know what i told you when i draw a mistake i win uh he's summoning quick fix uh, I mistake in the game. Uh, I mean it wasn't in the game. He, he kept playing, but it was, it was pretty much over So that was like seven minutes in the duel um, I flipped the mistake and it was just pretty much over uh, game two um, This was just it, it, it 
it was it was horrifying because he's he went uh drone quick fix i was like okay he went to double helix and then activated resort and i chain and i and i feck veiled um and, and that felt good um and i was like yeah let's go so and then he tried to quick fix uh and he discarded draws like sir you, you can't because it's not double helix um is, is a part of his effect is that it becomes super agent while it's on the field or in the graveyard so if you affect veiler or negate it it's no longer a super agent so you cannot use quick fix and i pretty much won i mean i didn't win from there but uh once i uh, you know tried to i did uh affect veiler so i'm like all right here we go we back in the duel i draw my so i you know i have solitaire i have you know kaijus and stuff so uh, i have a kaiju and a solitaire so i summon solitaire activate the effect ash blossom okay well i give him a kaiju bam the next turn he goes off um i believe uh no i i think i drew mistake after that i'm not sure all i know is that um i got i got oh wait what did i do oh no no i know what i did i go zuki this this is exactly what happened i go zuki that got ass blossom and then i foolish burial and soul charge for the uh foolish burial solitaire soul charge uh got the solitaire back tribute you know did my plays and stuff like that and then uh, uh what's the name turned and then his turn he got a uh, used omega didn't hit nothing came back he hits me with a he hits me with an agent my turn i go i do something get solemn strike and I, and I mean i'm i'm fighting against in that and then after that he gets into a sleeper and so uh when he brings out sleeper he equips it with last resort um, I have a kaiju because uh, I believe I, I, I gave him a, a kaiju. Like I said, I kaiju over his helix. I uh, gave him Gamma Steel Summon, my uh, 2400 kaiju. Um, attacked him with 200. Uh, set uh, set Imperial Order. And um, it was Imperial Order, Mistake. And it was another trap. I think it was. I think it was a, another Mistake set. Or it was. I think it was only Mistake and Imperial Order. So what he does is he goes, he drops sleeper, right? He uses sleeper to target itself and target my back too. So I chain Imperial Order and pretty much Imperial Order would negate last resort equipped to sleeper. That means it can't protect sleeper. Sleeper kills itself, blows the board. He says that it doesn't because it's not an equipped spell. And I tell him when, you know, when you equipped a card, like when you use a monster effect, or something to equip it becomes a face up quick spell. that's why you can spell shouting arrow it and then he he said oh that's because it's in a spell and trap zone so i said you know what let's just call a judge so we call the judge the first judge come over and says oh well no it's not a quick spell because it doesn't say it becomes a quick spell so i'm like okay and he, folks this is very important because this is ha literally i've been told so many stories about people just accepting the first judge rule there's a reason why there's a head judge call that person if you feel like he is not making the correct move it's not it's not being a dick it's not being you know you know being rude or anything like that it's literally if you know a ruling or you feel you don't feel sure about it now the head judge may rule it the same way it, there's not anything guaranteeing a head judge but to get a different mind in a head judge is pretty much should be the most experienced person there most experienced judge there so you should know these rulings anyways i appeal call the head judge over um, and then her head judge says, yes, it, he, you know, it's an equip spell and, it, you know, it, it pretty, it, it becomes basically useless because Imperial Order negates it. So, Sleeper pops and I'm like, all right, here we go. So he gets an agent out. Then he gets, an, he summons another agent and goes Baguska, puts everything into the fence. I'm like, all right, I draw into a, uh, I draw into a Ghost Reaper and I'm like, okay, well, this is kind of pointless because it's does, he looks in grave. And then he flips over his set. Uh, which is rescue and rescue ass back to sleeper. So I'm like, oh, all right, here we go. So once again, we're stalling with Bug he's stalling with Baguska. Turn pass, turn pass, turn pass. Um, he's setting more back row. I'm just drawing, I believe, hand traps and stuff like that. I think I got a back row or something. Then he summons uh, sleeper again. And I think I strike it. And then he uses uh, he, uh, he 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 adds it back with rescue. And then he brings out another sleeper. And I'm alright, he, he attacks over my kaiju because, you know, the Bagoose is already gone by then. So now I, I book of Eclipse, normal summon units on me, attack over the sleeper. Sleeper's effect activate, he solid strikes his own sleeper, his own sleeper in the graveyard. I'm like, oh, <laughs> nothing I can do. Uh, he used rescue again, bring back, he gets back another sleeper. And then after that, it was just nothing I can do. Um, he strikes me when I used the effect of Unizombie. It was just, and then I, and I tried to do something else. I got Ash Blossom. 
it just went downhill from that and then we were already in time by then so we i ended up with a round one tie against spirals that you know i'm pretty sure i should have won but I, you can't deal with four sleepers a, a turn in one one duel so round two i go against abc um first game he, he just smashes me because i only open up two kaisers and two hand traps um and then game two i reaper him solemn morning is summoned and then from there you know whittle down his uh, life points game three i believe he doesn't open he was open up to each open up terraforming every game but he did not uh open up um i think i either affect valor or he went abc buster and i kaiju one of the two i got i remember he couldn't get it on the board um and then you know i saw it once again i, I drew solid morning solid morning wooded his life points and when he got down to like four thousand i just went shogun saga and attacked the game so yeah <clears throat> quick and easy with the abc is a little worried there round three go against spirals uh he uh goes i believe you know he, he yeah i win the die roll i you know i go first and uh he smashes me he has the quick fix drone then i can do uh round two i start off with omega i have a uh i think i, I, I oh no that's what happened uh first game i drew three kaijus and two other cards uh summon solitaire got ash blossom he went uh and summon quick fix the quick fix drone got otk round two opened up uh unizombie with uh with a mizuki i'm like oh god well, I couldn't be something else so I do the uh the Sardis charge warrior play to draw a card drew into a solemn warning I mean solemn strike which is my only trap set it he baits it out pretty much quick fix you know he sets no no he sets one for one uh no I think I went Omega uh, yeah I went Omega <clears throat> I went Omega set strike um I'm like okay yeah I went Omega set strike okay I started charge warrior the first game that was the first game I opened up three uh, yeah I opened up three Kaiju's a Unizombie and a Mizuki. And I did the little Stardust Charge Warrior play. I'm thinking, all right, if I can just make it to turn two, I'm good. Because I can Kaiju him and I can go Crystal Wing and game's over. OTK because he has Quick Fix drone. He had so many fucking cards. Game two, I open up with Omega and a strike. And I'm like, all right, here we go. We you know we got it. No, I open up just Omega. Because I didn't I only drew one trap the whole game. The whole match the whole match. So I open up Omega. He sets, he sets one card, I activate it, hit the agent. I'm like, all right, let's go. He flips one for one, discarding the spell. So I'm like, oh, no, you can't do it. And so he has one card left in his hand. And guess what it is? It's, he said, oh, I'll just use Terraform. So he got to quit for his drone. That was the game. Uh, <laughs> so I'm um, 1 1 1, feeling pretty uh, down. I did not play against Tricksters. Uh, easily, I mean, not, that wasn't really easy. Uh, it, it was a back and forth duel. Uh, she got me down to 4,400. Um, it was it, it, it took time, but I ended up winning. And then game two, she bricked, and then I ended up winning that too. So that one, the, the second round was pretty. And then round five, I end up going up against BA, and he, he starts off with such such a beautiful turn. He mills the snow. He has orbital Highlander on the board. It's it's just it's oh god. And then he had a BLS, and then I I, I just didn't strike. I for some reason didn't want to strike uh, a BLS. And that didn't make no sense. Around uh, game two, uh, I, I had a mistake, and all he had was like Skarms and uh, the uh, what do you call it, the Phantom Knights. He couldn't search, and then I just pretty much put up a board and just beat him from there. Uh, round three goes into time. We literally get down to turns. Uh, I give him a Gamma Seal. He's basically attacking over my monsters. All I have is a Gozuki, but I do have a Burial, so I'm like. All right, what I can do is keep this banishing go Mizuki, so I'm going to go Mila Mizuki uh, and keep waiting. So he gets to turn three, and I'm like, all right, well, I feel like I could, you know, go off and pretty much win the game. So now I did not just go off. I uh, I believe I put a Kaiju on my board, and then I, I start doing all my synchro plays, and I end with a Baguska, right? So I'm like, all right, I put him down to 4,000. I'm at 65. I'm, no, I'm at uh, 60. No, no where am I? I'm at 49. Put him down to 4,000, and I'm like, all right, let's go. You know, I got a Baguska. We go. And then he flips his one set that he was it was set all game, which was a damn dark hole. Then he hits me, putting me down to 16, and searches a fog blade. And I literally have I have I have um, solitaire. I have the, the spectral sword and graveyard loaded up. Everything loaded up. 
and I just can't fight through the Fog Blade. You know, Fog Blade pretty much stops my Sun Saga, my Shogun Saga, anything I tried to do, uh, it was just not working. So, end up losing against that. Uh, second loss in the day. And then round six, I play against Trick Stars again. Um, I opened up pretty decent, um, but I'm sitting there being cautious, being cautious, and he ends up OTKing me because uh, you can't really be cautious against Trick Stars, and that was my mistake. I was taking it slow. Um, he had like three back rows, so I was scared. He flipped scape dope, and yeah, he won from there. Game two, I start off, got my solitaire playoff, um, and I think I had, uh, what's the name? No, he didn't He didn't draw enough. I think, you know, he potted his eyes and summoned licorice. I'm like, okay, took 16. He had life save, so I took 200 extra, and then it was, I mean, I just ended up beating him from there because uh, I whittled him down to 5,000 and then 49, and then he took 1,200 more. And then I hit him with 3,000, and then it was over after that. And then in game three, he uh, he hit me. Uh, he stri he strikes. I think my solitaire. Uh, and then he hit me with a uh, hit me with a, a licorice. Then he hit me with a, uh, a candina. And then I took uh, 200, 200 again. And then I end up I cleared his board. Uh, he, no, I hit him with 500. So I'm guessing that was uh, a, a kaiju over another kaiju. And then I hit him with 3,000 and 3,000. So I'm guessing Mizuki and Unizombie, uh, I mean, Gozuki and Unizombie was on the board. And yeah, I just went to Omega and he, he couldn't come back from there. And then went into a void when he had one set. I remember that. I had a Kaiju, you no, know, I had an Omega, and then I went into a void because I set my hand. I went to the void. I think I had a mistake in like Imperial Order and all that set. So he couldn't do nothing. So I ended up winning that one. Uh, good dude, good dude. Round seven, end up playing against Spirals again. Uh, I win the die roll, opened up Mistake Solitaire, he doesn't have the Ash Blossom, I win, uh, game two, I Reaper him, he goes first, I Reaper him, I summon uh, Solitaire, activate the effect, Ash Blossom, um, then he, he hits me with 42, I go again, summon Unizombie, Ash Blossom, I was like, okay, well, <laughs> there's nothing I can do, uh, then round three, I mean game three, I believe I opened up another Mistake? If I'm wait, let me see. Let me. I'm looking at the thing. Uh, yeah, I opened up another mistake, and he he didn't touch me the whole door. Uh, and then I I went Sun Saga, I went Shogun Saga. I did so much to that man. Uh, so <clears throat> feeling pretty good going into round eight. In round eight, playing against Spiral, I win the die roll. Open up what mistake? Game two. Uh, I believe I uh, believe I reapered him. If I'm not mistaken, I think I reapered him, summon solitaire, activate the effect, what happens? Uh, Ash Blossom. I'm like, oh, okay. And then he just whittles me down and beats me from there. Uh, game three. Start off with a solitaire. Use the effect. Guess what? Guess what, folks? What did he have? He had a gamma this time, but I was like, oh, God, there's nothing I can do. But I actually end up fighting back. I think I reapered him. No, no, no. I scold my through his master plan. Because he had two, he, had, he was going, he was going off. I was like, all right, I got the Skullmeister. I can at least, you know, do something with that. So Skullmeister, bam, right? So I'm feeling pretty good. And then he ends his turn. I go, I believe I kaiju over his deco talker. Yes, he had a deco talker. I think I kaiju over it. Then I summoned my kaiju. And attacked over the kaiju. Um, then he goes. Uh, he gets. Um, he gets. Uh, he goes into another double helix. He special summons master plan from his graveyard. Does it. I don't got nothing to stop it then. He links. He keeps linking. Goes into a firewall. And then he soul charges for for three. He puts. He brings back Deco Talker. Helix and, and quick fix. And it's just. It's, it's over from there. I can't come back from that. And then that's how pretty much everything went. So. Yeah man. That was my uh, YCS San Diego thing. Um, there's nothing really I can do. Uh, hand traps are really, really hurtful to this deck. Um, we gotta find an. I, I, I gotta find another way to get, get an extra normal summon, or get an extra summon or something. Uh, Brain fusion once again is good, but if that gets Ash Blossom, that kind of really hurts the deck. Um, I don't know, man. I just really don't know. I, I, I felt good. The deck did not perform. I mean, to me, the deck didn't perform bad, but um, I just I can't be Ash Blossom, and, that, and, and that's just really what hurt me the whole the whole tournament was ash blossom on a solitaire because we can't use solitaire again from the graveyard and we we, we, we don't get our unizombie so that's that's the bad part about ash blossom in the solitaire so 
yeah, man, if I just ran into less Ash Blossoms, we would have been good, but I, uh, the only loss, uh, no, 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 I, he, he, saw, he Ash Blossomed me, but he, he just whipped my ass, so it didn't really matter, so, yeah, uh, there's just that round, th I believe round three, he just, he just tore me apart, he had quick fix drone, um, so yeah, I couldn't really do anything about that, but overall, only thing I would really change about the deck was the two floodgates, that's the only thing I would change about the deck, because, um, yeah, just it didn't it did not do as much as it did. Um, everything else was pretty good. I, I enjoyed the deck. I would keep playing the deck. Um, maybe not. I don't know. I'm gonna try another. I'm gonna just try Vindreds. Uh, possibly no. Like Thursday is uh, Thanksgiving, so I'm pretty sure I'm not going to locals. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely not going to locals. No reason to. But um, yeah, next time I go to locals, I'm probably gonna take Vindreds uh, and see what I can do with that. I'm really having fun with that. But deck is not competitive in any means in any means and uh yeah man so yeah that's that's my ycs san diego thing i uh, know i'm rambling now but yeah thank you guys for watching I hope you guys did stay this long um i know i don't really you know keep on track too much but yeah man that was it for ycs san diego my brother actually went eight two and got 36 place which is really bad but hey uh he did do it and uh i've seen so many people playing spell shining arrows and stuff like that uh, it, it's just, it was just fun to see. But yeah, thank, uh, I, did, I did have a fun time, man. San Diego was real nice. If you've never been out there, definitely go go out there. It, it's very nice. Um, next to the beach and stuff like that. Man, I had some croissant sandwiches. Oh, 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 oh Lord. It was, it was just amazing. It was just amazing. And then the orange juice was, was just uh, to top it off, too. Uh, also good. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy that um you know did you guys go to ycs san diego how did you do or did you go to a regional this weekend let me know what how you guys did and stuff like that and that's it for today so see you guys tomorrow with another uh video and if you would like to support the channel all i ask for you guys to do is click and add that'll be enough and yeah that's it see you tomorrow